My name is Beverly and I love to draw cats. I'm a professional artist and working from photographs, I've drawn cats from all over the world. I create portraits in colored pencil and then share the story of each cat and the art process here on video. <laughs> Today I'm drawing Ashton, a flame point Siamese who never met a stranger he didn't like and proved to his human that cats can make spiritual connections with some people. Ashton came into Corby's life at the end of 2000 when she adopted him from a Siamese rescue organization after finding his picture online. Corby had decided that the cat she'd had for nine years, Warren Bidey, needed a companion. She started looking for a Siamese because her parents had raised some when she was growing up. She had fond memories of a lilac-colored one who was particularly sweet. When Corby and her nephew picked Ashton up from the foster home, they learned that he had been living in the street behind a restaurant before the city shelter got him. No one wanted to adopt him because of his one blind eye. During the six months since the rescue had pulled him, he had ruled the other cats in the house with a velvet paw. The moment Corby and her nephew got him home, he was ever so grateful and affectionate. Ashton had a dominant personality, but it was low-key and came across his confidence more than anything else. He was the most confident cat Corby had ever known. He was never scared of visiting the veterinarian, who struggled to listen to Ashy's heartbeat over the noise of his incessant purring. He would greet people at the door and inspect the toolbox of every worker who came to the house. He seemed to enjoy it when Corby took him to her office on a few occasions when it made it easier to get him to a vet appointment. During the time Corby's nephew lived with her, Ashton really took to the boy and converted him into a cat guy. While Ashton never became a real friend for Warren Bidey as intended, they did work out a peaceful coexistence. Most of all, Ashton was very loving and bonded to Corby. Ashton's favorite things in life were to be brushed and petted and to watch the world go by from his perch by the bedroom window. He was very compliant and tolerated wearing soft paws, which are little rubber caps that fit over a cat's claws, for longer periods than most cats. His confidence and tolerance came in handy during numerous visits to the vet. Over the 12 years he was with Corby, they addressed at least a dozen serious health issues. He fought every one and patiently endured the car ride each time, even though he would often get car sick. Late in life, Ashton had a terrible episode of heart failure. Corby found him in the kitchen, heaving because his lungs had filled with fluid. It was later in the animal hospital that x-rays revealed that he'd been shot with a BB gun as a kitten. Stoically, he had lived with the BBs lodged in his body all of these years. Eventually, the veterinary staff stabilized him well enough to return home. It was there one day, while sitting with him on the couch, that Corby clearly sensed Ashton tell her I didn't die because I didn't want to leave you. It was so clear, it was almost like she could hear the words out loud. Ashton's many health issues finally caught up to him at the end of 2012. After his death, Corby published a touching article called Life According to Ashy Poo in her blog, Big Sis, Little Sis. In it, she outlined a long list of guiding principles by which Ashton lived, many of which anyone would do well to take to heart. Among them are gems such as never stop purring no matter what and no one is a stranger and everyone is your friend. Why wouldn't they be your newest fan? You're awesome. Ashton certainly was. Here's the finished portrait. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. To find out how to commission a portrait and video for your cat, visit my website. I love to draw cats dot com.